Hey sugar geeks, Liz here. Today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite home style carrot cake with brown butter cream cheese frosting. This cake is super moist, full of tons of chunky pieces of candied pecans, pineapple, toasted coconut, and of course big pieces of carrot. My family loves this recipe and yours will too. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is grate my carrots. I'm going to trim off the little ends here. You're going to need about four or five medium carrots. And then you're going to want to peel off the skins. And this just helps the carrots to not turn green while they're baking. For some strange reason, carrots, when they interact with baking soda, it can cause them to turn green. I'm going to go ahead and toast about a cup and a half of shredded coconut. I'm just going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees. Just toast it for like two minutes and then stir it and then like another minute. We have our coconut that's been nicely toasted. Just set that aside to cool while we get the rest of our ingredients together. I'm gonna roughly chop up my candied pecans. You can just use toasted pecans if that's all you have. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grate my carrots in my food processor. This just makes it go by really fast or you can do it by hand if that's all you have. So now we're going to combine all of our ingredients together. It's a super simple mixing method. Basically, we're going to sift together our flour, sugar, brown sugar, spices, and baking soda. So now we're going to go ahead and combine together our eggs, melted butter, oil, and vanilla and whisk that together to combine. Okay, now we're just going to add all of our liquid ingredients into the dry and stir them together. So now all we have to do is fold in our toasted coconut, our pineapple, applesauce, and pecans. And of course the carrots. I'm just going to divide my batter into three 8 inch cake pans. You could also do two, but they would be really full. Sometimes I like to weigh my cake pans just to make sure they all have about the same amount of batter in each one. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and bake these at 350 degrees for about 30-35 minutes until the center is set. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make my brown butter buttercream. I went ahead and browned one pound of butter, but it loses quite a bit of moisture during that process. So I've replaced the extra moisture with just some regular butter. You could also compensate by browning extra butter so that you have a full pound, but it really doesn't matter. So I have about 11 ounces of brown butter and five ounces of regular softened unsalted butter. And I'm just going to place that into my mixing bowl with the whisk attachment. I used to do this with my paddle attachment, but I've discovered that the whisk works a little bit better. I've also let my brown butter come back to its solid state. I just poured it into a shallow pan, popped it into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, and then it was back to being that creamy consistency of softened butter. I'm just gonna cream that till it's smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my cream cheese, also been softened. All right, once that's all incorporated, I'm going to put my lid on so I don't get powdered sugar everywhere. I'm going to start adding in my powdered sugar. Lastly, all we have to do is add in our vanilla, a little bit of orange extract, and our salt. And then just mix that until it's smooth. Don't over whip it or it could end up breaking the cream cheese. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and frost my carrot cake now. I have an 8 inch cardboard round that I'm just going to place in the middle of a 
a nice charger here that I got from Michaels. I think looks really nice. Chargers are great cake plates because they have this little indentation in the middle. That's perfect for a little cardboard. I'm just gonna frost this directly on my turntable for right now, just to make it easy. Start with a nice healthy dollop of my brown butter cream cheese frosting. Smooth that out. I'm just trying to keep my layers of frosting uh, nice and level, just holding my spatula level and then spinning my turntable. And last layer. I love how you can see all those layers of coconut and pineapple and nuts inside the cake. Okay, now I'm gonna do a quick crumb coat and then pop this guy into the freezer or the fridge just for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. That way it'll be a little bit easier to handle for the final coat of buttercream. Okay, so while our cake is chilling, I'm going to color some of my buttercream. This is just maybe like a quarter a cup, probably not gonna even need that much, but I'm gonna color it orange by adding just a couple drops of yellow food coloring. This is AmeriColor Gel food coloring. And then like a drop of orange, not too much. Just mix that up. The yellow helps to make the orange more vibrant. If you just use straight orange, it'll look kind of dull. And you'll see like the little specks in there from the brown butter, that doesn't bother me. I think it looks cute. And then just a little bit of green, another drop of yellow. Same thing with the green as the orange. The yellow brightens it up, makes it look more lively. If you just use the straight green, it just kind of looks dull. There you go, perfect. Okay, and then I have a little piping bag here and a round piping tip. This is an Atiko number 10, but just any kind of like small round tip will be fine. And put that in your bag. And just cut just enough of the bag off so that the tip is poking out through the end of the bag. And then I also have a leaf tip. Uh, this doesn't have a number on it, but you can get them at Michael's or Amazon or whatever, just a small leaf tip. And all you're gonna do to pipe a carrot is you start squeezing to anchor the buttercream. And then as you pull, you squeeze more to get it thicker. And that's it. And it just naturally makes these little lines and looks just like a carrot. And then you come in with your green buttercream. And you do one, two, three. And have a cute little carrot for the top of our cake. Pretty easy, huh? Okay, so our cake has been chilling for about 20 minutes. So it's gonna hold in all of those crumbs. So now we can go ahead and put in our final coat. And I'm gonna leave this cake kind of rustic, but first I'm gonna put a nice layer of buttercream on, make it nice and straight, and then put the rustic texture on so that the cake looks straight. If you wanna learn more about how to decorate your first cake as far as torting, stacking, filling, crumb coating, and all that good stuff, check out my video on how to make your first cake. All right, and then I'm gonna use my bench scraper, hold it flat on the top of the turntable, and just start turning. Scrape the excess buttercream back into the bowl. Just filling in any holes and stuff. This is a really soft buttercream because of the brown butter. It's definitely not something that I would put underneath fondant. You could use it as a filling and then you could put regular buttercream on the outside if you wanted to though. Then I'm gonna smooth out the top by just taking my offset spatula, grabbing that rough edge and dragging it towards the center. So now we have a nice clean slate. Okay, so now we can take some buttercream and we can just kind of smear it on the side. I kind of go in an up and down motion to get some nice rustic waves that look rustic but not messy. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of decoration to the side and use my offset spatula to just slide that underneath 
the cardboard round and lift it carefully up onto my hand. I have here just a mixture of some toasted coconut and some of my leftover pecans. I'm just gonna grab that and just kind of press it to the side, about halfway up. Okay, so now I can place my cake back onto the charger. It fits in there nice and easy. So now I'm gonna start piping my carrots. I'm gonna always be working on the right hand side and just turn my cake so that I don't get all weird with my hand placement. So I'm just gonna start right here, and squeeze and gradually get bigger. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn my cake all the way around. So I'm just directly on the other side. Do the same thing. And then go in the middle. And then do in between. And then we're gonna come in with our green and add our little leaves. One, two, three. Perfect, there we go. Our carrot cake is now complete. So that's it, that's how you make my home style carrot cake. Hopefully you enjoyed this recipe. If you wanna see more recipes like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time, bye.